Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got two teams who will look to their running backs to try to control the pace of the game. It's the Bills going up against the Dolphins. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, we could have been assigned to December games in Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Instead, we get the plum assignment here in sunny Miami, Florida. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gordon. To my left, as always, Charles Davis and C.D. Larry highlighted a couple of running backs to keep an eye on here tonight. And I know you plan on doing just that. I certainly do. Let's face it, we're all going to check in on the quarterbacks and see what they do. But the running back who can take over a game, who can impose his will on the opposite defense, oh, that guy, that's a guy worth watching because he can definitely change the fortunes of his team. now ready to get this one started and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium this will be taken to the back of the end zone gets past one man and he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14 yard line Tyrod Taylor taking the field along with the rest to the Buffalo Bills offense. And, and Tyrod's future, you just feel like it's always uncertain in Buffalo. You had the issue where Peterman started earlier this year back to Taylor. I, what are they going to do at the quarterback position? Their commitment to him reminds me of a high school kid's commitment to a college. Mm -hmm. I'm committed, but I'm still going to take five more trips. <laughs> They're always looking around to see if there's going to be someone better. They drafted Nathan Peterman last year, gave him a start or two during the season. But Tyrod Taylor always comes out being the best quarterback for the Buffalo Bills at this time. But don't expect the Bills to stop trying to find someone to replace him in the offseason. Now a play fake here on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. now here's the Buffalo offense I know I'm not supposed to be biased but LaShawn McCoy is one of my favorite running backs in the game vision elusiveness creativity can take nothing and turn it into something catches the ball out of the backfield and runs with that supreme arrogance that running backs have the best ones in the game thinks that no one can stop him and at the end of a run will drop a shoulder and get extra yardage Second and 10 now, it's Taylor. And some room to work. Evades him at the 20. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Offense lining up first and ten. Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. And let's run through the Dolphins' defense. When Kiko Alonso first made it to the NFL, all I could think about was remembering him playing in college. And there's a wildness to him. There was also a control as well. Always around the football. And when he arrived, you knew that he was there. And then he'd fool you at times, too, because he'd pick off a pass and return it for a touchdown. you say, where did all that speed come from? I thought he was a total package coming out of Oregon. On second down, Taylor looking middle. And it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to his fullback, Mike Tolbert. And that takes us from second to third down.
Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Cameron Wake in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Colton Schmidt, fourth-year man from UC Davis, on to punt it away. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. <laughs> well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Now, now comes the Miami Dolphins' offense led by Jay Cutler. And as you look toward the future for Miami, you wonder... Jay Cutler, is this a one-year deal? Does he have a future? Tannehill, what, are they going to look for somebody new? What do you think, Charles? I think that Ryan Tannehill, back in full health, reassumes the job as the number one quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. I don't think you bring both of them back, him and Jay Cutler. I think you make a choice, and I think the Dolphins will choose Tannehill. And they can draft other players and have them compete with Tannehill. Go, I think in 2018, the first guy to take a snap will be Ryan Tannehill. Now Drake. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The Miami Dolphins starting lineup now. And Kenyon Drake, a guy to watch. He has the ability to affect the game in so many different ways. In the return game, bringing it back himself. Also can be a gunner on the punt coverage team and did that very well at Alabama. But has the ability to run, and run the ball to the backfield as well as catch it. Kenyon Drake, you can use him so many different ways. Now Cutler to throw on second down. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Extra DB on the field for the Bills here on third down. Yeah, maybe think and pass. Hey, 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 hey. Here we go now. Move, nice. The handoff to the right side. It's Drake. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. All right, partner, despite my eating habits, I'm not big enough to play offensive tackle, nor am I quick enough. But with the defensive ends nowadays and their speed, those guys have to be able to punch and dance, and it's a tough, tough job to contain them. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. Back deep for the Bills, Brandon Tate. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now it's Tate. Spins away. Gets around him. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? down it's Taylor out to the flat that's complete to his running back and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line call it a one yard gain on the play and that'll make it a second down
A fake to McCoy. Now it's Taylor. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Charles Clay as tight end. And now it's third down. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. From the gun, it's Taylor. Throw left side, complete. It's McCoy. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? Here's Colton Schmidt now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> They'll start the drive with Drake. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. All right, here we go. Two, ah! They go play action here on first down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. The intended receiver there, Kenyon Drake. And that'll bring up second down. Quickly now, a look at the Buffalo defense. Lorenzo Alexander's journey is one for the ages. Came out of college as a defensive tackle, defensive end. Got to the NFL, he's played outside linebacker, defensive tackle, defensive end, some fullback, and went to the Pro Bowl as a special teamer before a breakout year in 2016 with 12 and a half sacks as a linebacker. Second down following the incompletion. give this is Drake and he's got some space here and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line and Miami first down that one going for a gain of 11 how many times do we say in this game is speed kills and it does it in so many different ways in this case you got a back who's quick and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary that led to a really nice game now on first down drake again and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. it's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down on any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got.
And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Play action. Cutler. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Absolutely zero surprise at that throw we just saw. I mean, Jay Cutler has a whip for an arm. He's had it since he won a state title at Heritage Hills High School in Southern Indiana. Where in Southern Indiana, though? Well, he's born in Santa Claus. How about that? That's pretty strong yeah. right there. Nearby to my hometown of Evansville. Bet you've never been there, have you? I have not been there, but I'm looking forward to being invited for a holiday You're cheer. You're invited. Put that on your bucket list. Thank you. From the red zone now, here's Cutler on first down. Brought in over the middle by Grant. A gain of six there on first. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. So the offense readies for a second and four. Give running right, Drake. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It's a loss of two, now third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here we go now. Three, 19. From the shotgun, Cutler. And it's caught by Parker. We knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And Parkey's kick is good. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. So a little fortunate there, because that one was definitely leaking right. Without a doubt, maybe about the width of a football or so inside that right upright. But he got it to go. now following the made field goal to kick this one off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now, not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? They go play action now, Taylor. And that'll be incomplete. 
We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. It's Taylor. Oh, he's got a little daylight. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Come on, let's go. One, nine. on second down, it's McCoy. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Speaking of the ball carrier there, LaShawn McCoy, a few weeks ago, he went over 10,000 career rushing yards, just the 30th player in league history to do that. Man, they call him Shady. He's hard to tackle, all right? That's why he has 10,000 career rushing yards. How about this season, though? This was the sixth season. He had 1,000 yards in a single year. He's absolutely dynamic, sensational, and they can also throw the ball to him as well. Cause a lot of problems for defenses, doesn't he? Yeah, and he's done all that before turning 30, still 29 still years 29 old. 29 years old. That's really impressive. Now Taylor to throw. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. And on second and 10 now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he works his way forward for about four, up to the midfield stripe. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And this defense looks for one more stop here on third after the run. From midfield now, here's Taylor. He's got Thompson here, complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. So here we go, first and 10 now. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. And he's gonna be taken down right at the line. So just a lone field goal in this first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score, and we'll be back to South Florida after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession. They've got it second and ten to start things out. Now, Connor. 
contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment defense. Partner, we saw these Dolphins jump off sides a bunch last year, but that's not unusual for those guys like Sue who want to get that quick start into the offensive backfield, and they do make a lot of plays doing that. And here comes play number six on this drive. They go play action with Taylor. And this one is incomplete. They were looking to get it to Kelvin Benjamin there. And it's third and five. The Bills on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. The Bills on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Here we go. One, nine. One, nine. Off the play fake, here's Taylor. Try to lay one up deep. And incomplete, he can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Mm. It looked good when it left his foot, but he kind of sliced it a little bit, and he winds up missing it wide right. the Miami offensive unit now they get set to take over and they split the uprights last time for three they've got the lead they're not going to play this conservative they're, they're not hoping for another field goal they're hoping for a touchdown I'm with you on that one I like where your head is I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right trying to sit on a lead and play that way that doesn't work too well for most teams run your offense yeah, run what you do best exactly put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way and the best way to do it touchdowns they go play action now Cutler wide open receiver complete and he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35 a good pick up there of 20 yards there are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. On first down, Drake. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Hey, 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 hey. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Ah! 
on second down, it's Drake. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Out of the gun, it's Cutler. Sack. They push him back to the 34. Jerry Hughes in there to bury him for a loss of 11. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack. Although that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL, meaning wherever your tackles operate normally, get outside of that. And the ball that you throw has to get back to at least the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you face an intentional grounding call. It's Cutler. And the pressure gets to him again. Preston Brown. He's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks are going to bring up a fourth down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. And the Bills getting set to go. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. Now Taylor on first down. Going to throw right side here. Complete. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. First down carry here for McCoy. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Oh, 
Again, it's McCoy. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. So he runs it for one yard, then no gain. I don't know that you go back to that well here on third down. Yeah, I don't know that you do as well, but if you want to get the ball to him, if you want him to have it, maybe get him into space and throw it here to him. On third down, Taylor. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. So two missed field goals for them now. That's helped keep them with a big zero on the scoreboard. Well, it's not the only reason they have a zero. The offense has been bogged down a few times now, but it's certainly not helping the cause any at all. And out come the Dolphins now. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goal post, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did it because those guys... They won us a whole lot of games. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Cutler. The Fasano here brings it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. A gain of three, second down. passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. and goal, Drake. A solid move on the run, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. Down at the two. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. 
And Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. On second down, Cutler feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Matt Milano, tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. treated the same way as the sideline. You have to get your feet down in bounds for it to count as a catch. How about the backgrounds of some of these guys, though? Did they work on it? Maybe some of them were ballet, some dance, who knows? Yeah, you and I were talking the other day. I remember one of my favorite kid shows growing up. I don't know that I want to name it, but guys like Lynn Swan, they used to be on there showing their ballet skills. And you have to remember when they were kids and their parents would tell them to take the ballet classes, you know they were fighting them like crazy, but right now they're saying, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Parkey is on now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. now set to kick it away set to return now here's Deontay Thompson and he will be marked down right there at the 20 yard line here now a look at LaShawn McCoy they haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you've got a chance to come back to him when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. There's still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. He'll start on the ground with McCoy. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Second down, Taylor. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. 
I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. side it's the tight end clay and to the 42 yard line here and brought down there five yards on the catch there brings up second down nice rhythm throw there on first down he located his tight end made it a nice easy pitch and catch hoping he can break a tackle or two wasn't able to do that there but still good yardage Fake to McCoy. Now it's Taylor. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Taylor and company hoping to regroup after the sack. On, Out of the gun, it's Taylor. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Here's Colton Schmidt now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Here comes Jay Cutler now to lead his offense back out there. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. First and ten, it's Cutler. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Matt Milano in there to get him for his second sack of the night. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Drake running left, and he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. All right, so the timeout over, and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense.
The Dolphins on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and 19. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Now the Bills will take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. On the return, it's Tate. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Getting set to go again, we get a peek at Kelvin Benjamin as he heads back out there now. Looking down at the stats here, realizing he has no catches. They targeted him twice, but no catches. So how do they get him more involved, Charles? You make sure he touches it on routes that he likes to run. Maybe even run a reverse or some type of a jet sweep so he gets his hands on the ball and get him active and involved in the game. You just try and find ways to get him going, and it doesn't have to be something that's big downfield. Maybe kind of like in basketball, just a shooter seeing the ball go through, you get him a rep, you get him more comfortable. I agree with that totally. Maybe set that solid screen and give him an easy look. Well, to this point, no catches. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make this a second down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here we go. One, nine. One, nine. On second down, here's Taylor. Holmes has got it complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Let's go. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Second and ten, it's Taylor again. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume play. Third and long, Taylor and company hoping to regroup after the sack. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and that's going to bring up a fourth down.
So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando, he's standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Dolphins are happy to be sitting in the locker room with a lead. The Bills won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Bills with their opening drive. Wake's got the sack here. This ends up as a loss of nine. Dolphins with the ball early in the second. Hughes is going to take down the QB here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. Dolphins now on third and eight. Cutler's got the completion here, and it leads to a touchdown, taking the lead up to 10. Bills with the ball waiting seconds of the half. The pride of the black shirts. Sue will get the sack here. This ends up as a huge loss in yardage. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando for the call of the second half. Let's head it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Second down following the run. From the shotgun, Cutler. It's caught, Stills, right side. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. So the offense has it first and 10. Right, here we go. To throw, Cutler. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The completion good for three and it's second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. 
Now a handoff for Drake. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That is the same case on that play. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the ladder 50%. They'll try and get the running game going with McCoy. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Taylor to throw on second down. And his throw is incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. And it's third down. The Bills on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third down and 12. the shotgun it's Taylor and this is going to be incomplete another drive comes and goes still nothing on the scoreboard yeah and when the second half comes you know it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started you just got to fight through it got to keep pounding away there's Colton Schmidt now he's been one of their few bright spots so far Uses the stiff arm. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll run with Drake. And down he goes just beyond the 35. And that pretty move got him some extra space to run. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Check, 
Right back to Drake. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. The Dolphins on third down, just one for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Off the play fake, here's Cutler. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. He's been terrific so far. This is taken around the 12. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here we go. One, nine, six. One, five. On first down, it's Taylor. He's got Thompson here, complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Third and two, now Taylor. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. It's Taylor. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. That throw good for four. It's second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now Taylor going to hand this one off to McCoy. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it third down. Good luck trying to get your running game going against Indomitian Sue. I mean, he is so strong. Just trying to move him 
take one guy, two guys, whatever. I wish you a whole lot of luck. He usually converts an offensive running game into rubble. The Bills on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and nine. Now Taylor from the gun. He'll throw. It's caught. Jones. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Now they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Another miss. Still on his feet. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Mike Tolbert, 34 yards. And the Bills have cut it to within a score. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Steven Hauschka for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And a long run there in the end to top it off. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green. Now Cutler to throw on second down. Over the middle, complete. It's Gray. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The Dolphins on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. Here it's third and two. All right, here we go. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here. So for me, that'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it, then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? Start the drive with a carry by McCoy. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. to go on second down. They'll go again to McCoy. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. The Bills on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and four. Now Taylor with a draw to McCoy. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Ball at a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Here's Colton Schmidt now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter here's Colton Schmidt now as he's on to punt for Buffalo yards on the punt there and out will come the offense as they take over so now here come the Dolphins now if you're a fan of punting and I know that not many people are but this game kind of turning into one for you well it's okay if it's a skills contest right we're really into it then but not during the course of an actual game this has turned into a field position game though sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome
throwing now. Cutler on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. Out of the gun, it's Cutler. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. Second down. Despite some fast footwork, he's still wrangled down shy of the 15. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Let's go! Play action. It's Cutler. And he finds Stills complete. A very solid gain of 27. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. play Drake and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory 12 more yards there and another first down do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along first seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first doesn't it I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Here's Cutler. He dumps it off to Drake. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Call it a gain of five. And it's a second down. So we've got a second and five. Watch eight, watch eight. Single, single. Let's go. Boom, land it. From the gun, it's Cutler. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Green, 39. They go play action with Cutler. And he finds a man. It's Fasano. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Well, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late, 
tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Fresh set of downs here. Color to throw again. On the left side, this is Stills. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Hurry up, here we go. From the red zone now, here's Cutler on first down. He goes underneath the Drake. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. <laughs> offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there, gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Damian Williams from three yards out. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Now parking for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. now set to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. <laughs> now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field and down on the scoreboard certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. down sideways right at the 20 credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine 
And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. Yeah, this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Over the middle, it's Holmes. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. Fourth and inches, does he get the first? You bet he does. He knows exactly where he needs to be. And he's going to fight his way forward to get a couple of yards and ensure he keeps the chains moving. And the offense lining up first and ten. Here we go. Brand 98. Brand 98. Taylor dumps it underneath to Tolbert. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Call it a three-yard gain, and it'll be a second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Decent chunk of yardage still left here. Second and seven. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Here we go. Brand 38. Brand 38. From the gun, it's Taylor. Room here to run. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Here we go. Brand 98. Brand 98. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. And that is incomplete here. connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. On, to throw is Taylor. Going to throw again to the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. 
It'll be a pickup of just two. And just like that, it's third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here we go! On third down, Taylor. They find some open field here. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. 10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Here we go. Brand 38. Brand 38. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. And he'll go down at the 28. Give him eight on the play, and that'll make it second down. will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. Now Taylor to throw on second down. And some room to maneuver. And he'll go down at the 28. Give him six on the play. And that'll make it third and one. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Third and one, it's Taylor. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. right and deflects away it's no good and this score will stay right where it is so plenty of leg but it's the accuracy there that lets him down yeah he hit it really well i think this might have been good from 55 but you'll see it just conk off that upright and they're denied a chance at three points 
The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Getting down to the end here, they have a two-score lead. Barely, but it's a two-score lead, so that probably makes you as a coach feel a lot more comfortable right now, doesn't it, Charles? It does, but it doesn't mean now you go out and run option or some kind of wild double reverse or anything like that. But you do know that if anything does go haywire, you're still in control of this game. I want a double reverse, don't you? <laughs> I'm just waiting for that day where we actually see something like that in this situation. Well, we'll see what happens here. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he'll get this up to about the 40. And now the Bills are gonna stop it as they call the timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Second down to the offense, needing five yards. They stay on the ground with Drake. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Now the Bills will take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This time it's third and three. Here we go now. Green, 39. Ah. And he'll give it here to his running back. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. going to throw it and got his tight end Duarte and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46 give him a couple on the catch it's second and eight I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business yeah 230 240 range yeah not not super huge maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days but you can flex him out you can run wide receiver routes with him you can make him a primary target and that's how he'll shred a defense second down now after the pass completion Now a handoff here to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll be a loss of a yard, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe to get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Cutler kneels on it, and that should just about do it. And 
And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.